very special guest, and we're having a great time. So Dream Girls the Musical is at the Alhambra, and if you haven't been there yet, you got to check it out because the musical itself is absolutely amazing, great storyline, amazing performances, but then also you get to have some food and really chill out. And here to tell us all about the experience of Dream Girls, I have the stars of the show. So I'll start out with Alexis, Melissa, and Mandy Joe. So guys, welcome. For some of you, welcome back, because you guys are on some other things too. That's how talented you guys are. So can you give us an overview of what people can expect from Dream Girls? Because again, it's a great storyline, but some would argue even better music. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, Dream Girls tells the story of a girl group, three girls, and their claim to fame. It shows their development, the conflicts, and really their rise to, to fame in the 60s and 70s. So we have a great time telling the story every night. And the whole music genre, some say, was just a, a really big influence on how it changed around that type of music, right? Absolutely. So can you guys talk about that? And were you fans of that type of music growing up? Absolutely. You Still know, now, right? Parents, they play those uh, yeah, yeah, music that's that's come yeah. up. Who doesn't so you Motown? can see that it, it transitions from Motown to disco. And you get to see how that comes into play in the musical and the storyline. Yeah, and then when you say that, disco, obviously it's high energy. And you guys are really high energy, too. <laughs> and I was listening to you guys perform earlier, so oh. you know, I'm excited to check it out. So who do you guys play in it? I play Laurel, and I'm like the little sister of the group. Yes. I play Effie White. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. You, you, you are. Adorable. Effie White. Okay. And I play Dina Jones. And what's your favorite thing about this? Because obviously, like, the whole genre, you know, is really fun. And with you guys' personalities, it's kind of who you guys are, at least that I'm picking up at. Mm -hmm. But talk about the atmosphere of the Alhambra, like being there and people being kind of close to the stage and a part of it as well. Well... We're definitely up close and personal. <laughs> Some of the tables are literally inches from the stage. And what I love about that is, uh, like our director Todd likes to say, you can't fake it. Yes. You really have to be present in the moment as an actor and really give them character work and lots and lots of intentions. And you can't really check out on stage. So we're all just working really hard and, and when making you sure that talk the about that, the person. vocal sounds so demanding. How do you keep up with that performance of just being ready oh, wow. to bellow out those notes? Yeah. Technique. Technique. Go. Training is important Very much to sustain so. through an eight show week. Mm -hmm. Eight show week. Eight shows, shows a week. week. Wow. Yeah. Saturdays, yeah. steaming, lots of steaming. Well, I hate to add Boxing more steaming. to your plate, but can you guys <laughs> stick around and actually perform live? <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, I say, like, don't say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot now on live TV. You kind of just got to nod with a go. <laughs> all right, awesome. And we have a ticket giveaway, and all you have to do is go to our Facebook page, River City Live TV, and you'll see a little boomerang picture of us with the lovely lady. So just Put a note there on why you want to go, and you could win a VIP experience to see Dream Girls. And for more information, you can go to alhambrajacks.com for tickets. Stick around. We'll be right back with a live performance. Thanks, girls. Thank you. Thank you.